dog story at their service and sacrifice. Thanks for watching and have a good night. And finally, you're going to want to get out your calendars for this story. <laughs> <laughs> Ten News reporter Cole Sullivan shows us how some fun nine months ago is keeping nurses <laughs> busy today. It started off with a bang. I thought we better get ready. And ended in a boom. It is an all hands on deck. A good old fashioned baby boom. We have had 257. 257. It's a ton of babies. Stevie Lowe is one of the 257 moms. This is Lily. To deliver at Fort Sanders Regional Medical Center this October. I work here and I help to birth some of those 256 other babies. And she's not the only nurse with a bun in the oven. 17 nurses that are here on this floor that have also contributed to this increase in numbers. There's no time for hanky panky. It's all about getting them in and out. Well, I remember one day there was 18 from 7 to 7, so I remember that day quite vividly. All the babies brings back that familiar joke. I don't know what it is, but if you don't want a baby, stay away. Don't drink it. What's in the water? Everybody's happy, and you always know that. Why? Because there's more babies born. Everyone has a theory. There was a lot of love to be had. It was cold. And a calendar to look back at. Nine months ago tomorrow, February 14th. All of those feel-good holidays that brings everybody close, brings that love on, and 40 weeks later, here we are. And they haven't finished yet. Yes, this month should actually surpass last month. And with more little ones on the way, now it's the nurse's time to get busy. Job security, so it's good. <laughs> Cole Sullivan, 10 News. And Fort Sanders was only one baby away from beating its record last month. Nurses say the projections show a slight dip in births for December. And that means.